pinpoint weather and traffic together. Michelle's got our pick of the day now. Yeah, this is actually a webcam from the U University of Rhode Island. It was a cold walk to those eight o'clock classes this morning. Danielle temperatures are still running in the 20s. It's 26 North Kingstown, 24 in Charlestown, about 25 right now in Socket and still at 24 in Tiverton. Very slow climb in the temperatures today. We only make it up close to the freezing mark for a high this afternoon. Now there's no rain or snow for most of our area. There's been a little bit of uh, Ocean effect snow showers, flurries over the outer Cape, uh, but otherwise we're dry storm free for today. Just gusty winds and they're cold winds. they will have a bite to it as you walk outside uh, through the daytime. The pick of the week probably tomorrow. Sunshine, lighter winds. That makes a huge difference this time of year. And then rain, snow and wind all in the forecast for this weekend. So that's coastal storm definitely happen and it's a strong one too. The tricky part for us here in southeastern New England will be determining how much rain versus snow we see because I do think even areas Providence, maybe even north of that, we'll see some mixing for a time with this latest storm. Now again, we're talking about the weekend. So for today, that blend of clouds and sunshine giving way to partly to mostly sunny skies in the afternoon at two o'clock, maybe some additional ocean effects, snow showers in the Cape this evening and tonight and otherwise just clear diminishing winds overnight tonight. That'll probably lead to temperatures that are similar to what we had this morning. So the temperatures continuing their slow climb for the morning hours this afternoon, the high 31 skies looking like this blustery and dry with a northwest wind of 15 to 20 miles per hour. Wind chills will still be in the teens and then overnight tonight down to about 25, mostly clear lighter winds there from the north northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Taking a look at the seven day future cast up to 40 tomorrow afternoon, mostly sunny skies the weekend. Here we go again, three weekends in a row. This coastal storm, though, is taking a different track than the last two, a slightly warmer track for us, and that means more of a wintry mix. So we're looking at the best potential, at least in Rhode Island, to see enough snow to plow or shovel would be north and west of Providence. I think less snow the closer you get to the coastline where there'll be more mixing sleet and rain. But where exactly that rain snow line sets up, and it does look like it'll be somewhere across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts, will determine how much snow our area sees. Uh, we are looking at the best potential here of seeing accumulating snow probably happening on Sunday. So the storm sort of starts to get its act together late in the day on Sunday. Saturday, the height of it Saturday night through about midday on Sunday. And as the storm pulls away, enough cold air comes in uh, with the latest forecast here to change our mix of rain, sleet and snow back to all snow. And it'd be during that time that we could see some accumulations. Anything that accumulates looks to be heavy and wet at this point. So you combine that with strong winds. You have the potential for some power outages and then Tuesday night into Wednesday. That one also looking like a wetter rather than whiter scenario for us. So more rain than snow, but we'll keep